The sky is a neighborhood. So keep it down. My heart is a storybook. I stop on down. The sky is a neighborhood. Don't make a sound. Love's coming up ahead. Don't look now. Sky is a neighborhood. The sky is a neighborhood. Don't look now. No, my dear, heaven is a big bang now. Gotta get to sleep somehow. Banging on the ceiling, banging on the ceiling. Keep it down. Oh my dear, heaven is a big bang now. Gotta get to sleep somehow. Banging on the ceiling, banging on the ceiling. Keep it down. The mind is a battlefield. All hope is gone. Trouble to the right and left. Whose side you on? A thoughts like a minefield. I'm a ticking bomb. Maybe you should watch your step. Don't get lost. The sky is a neighborhood. The sky is a neighborhood. Don't get lost. No, my dear, heaven is a big bang now. Gotta get to sleep somehow. Banging on the ceiling, banging on the ceiling. Keep it down. And oh, my dear, heaven is a big bang now. Gotta get to sleep somehow. Banging on the ceiling, banging on the ceiling. Keep it down. The sky is a neighborhood. The sky is a neighborhood. The heart is a storybook. A star burned out. Something coming up ahead. Don't look now. No, my dear, heaven is a big bang now. Gotta get to sleep somehow. Banging on the ceiling, banging on the ceiling. Keep it down. The sky is a neighborhood. Hi, I'll be your neighbor. My name is Gravity Groove. Welcome to Not Safe for Work, Terra. That was a song by the Fighters of Foo. I bet you can't guess the title. It's it's the it's the sky is a neighborhood. Was that not clear? Um, <laughs> we are gonna play a little uh, go hard today. We're playing Swim's version because uh, I generally think deferring to the guy who wins all the tournaments is probably the right idea when you're playing a, a deck. Although, tournament play and ladder play are pretty vastly different. And the thing to consider here is that Swim's win percentage in ranked is about the same as everyone else's, honestly. It's around 55-57%. to 57%. But his ability in tournaments shines through because with perfect information, he designs decks that allow him to play around his opponents really skillfully and artfully and uh, really maximizes his outs when making a meta call about what he expects to see the most of and what he wants his two or three picks to perform optimally against. Um, this makes him a great tournament player. Deck builder? I don't know. But um, when I'm trying to pick meta decks, I already think this deck is kind of fun. It's definitely on the fun side. And I know none of the lists that I built um, felt optimal, and there were lots of one-ofs and two-ofs. Uh, maybe this one-of is cute. Um, no no uh, Black Spears seems weird. Um, no Petty Officer seems weird, but likely a Medical 
because he's respecting that Gohard is a big portion of the meta right now. So he's trying not to play cards that have one toughness, and I get that. That makes that makes a certain amount of sense. Uh, I'm still uncertain if the Elise version or the Gangplank version is actually the superior strategy. Uh, but admittedly, Elise does allow us to stay alive in the early game against a lot of other aggro strategies. So it's probably useful. Um, this deck seems like it folds completely and utterly to uh, to anything that's trying to um, overwhelm with... Uh, what the hell is the word I'm looking for? Fearsome. Fearsome seems like it just eats this deck's lunch. And it doesn't seem like there's much you can do about it. Um, two Ruination and Two Vengeance is industry, uh, in interesting. Uh, in my version, I didn't have Ruination. And I only had one Crumble. Um, again, two Crumble must be a meta call, respecting that he's seeing a lot of Tom Kench. Uh, which, again, is just a really powerful deck in general. And once they have Tom or Soraka out... Essentially, you can't ever kill them because they have infinity tricks to heal or buff hit points, and it's very irritating. Uh, so maybe there, maybe there is value in that. Uh, I have seen some people playing Rice as a one of, and I played Rice as a one of, uh, and I was really pleasantly surprised with how often you got very big value out of a, a Rahasa. Um, so we may end up making a few tweaks because we're just we're just platinum forever, and we're not going to see the same decks that uh, Masters players would see. That's just not going to happen. Enough talk. Time to die. <laughs> So Fearsome is our first matchup. When I said Fearsome was our worst matchup. I love that I'm continuing the trend on this show of foretelling my doom. Uh, it's, it's strangely satisfying. So because we know this is Fearsome's, we can't afford to play this on turn one. We need to try to get uh, plunder so we have a blocker. Our big out is usually going to be uh, Twisted Fate with a deckhand support. Would not surprise me if they played their own Elise here. Um, still think this swing is probably worth it. Since we can't block him. And our release isn't really about anything other than getting value in trades. Yeah, very happy with that trade. Just full swing here. Get her out from the darkness. What's your hurry? While we do have Twisted Fate here, we're probably just going to play our Butcher. Do 
So now even if he kills the barrel, Twisted Fate comes down and kills Elise anyway. We now have a pretty large amount of Gohards in our deck. Could make an additional powder keg here, but probably just playing Twisted Fate. Could have waited for the spider there, but uh, did not think it was that valuable. So here and here Clear off. and here. Who's that you got there? Still okay, I think. Is it? Um, Like a good open swing. And again, we're super okay with these trades. We made more fodder for uh, Glimpse Beyond. That's all that matters here. Just going ham on the direct damage. I'll do this. This is pretty funny. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid. So, if he doesn't have Farron on 8, we're probably good. Coming in hot! Uh... Keep up, keep up. Now, this game's heating up. It's starting to look pretty good here. No blocks. Um, so we do this, draw a card, and then we glimpse one of our things. Soak it in. We can actually glimpse two of our things. Activate both of our Twisted Fates. So we block here. Let's get a rare dies. And 
just kills this. Again? Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. The open swing for three, five, seven, oh, nine, goodness. ten, and then pack your bags, closes the door. Looks like trouble. Cool. It wasn't really a fearsome deck, it just seemed more like a budget burn deck. I think we're definitely weaker to fearsome. Not bad, folks. Let's try a couple more. All right, Henry. All right, mid range. I assume we have a decent game and that's mid-range. That could be a pretty big assume. They have a lot of very chonky boys. Probably have to keep the ruination. If we didn't have Croker, I don't think we'd play that there. But we have Croker, so. If I kill you, I don't find you, stupid. Hmm. Let's get to it. Ooh. Getting all of our top end is not good. Yeah, this deck is really just all about Trapper, isn't it? worried about him playing here. Anything? I don't think we're worried about him playing anything. Probably going to see Yeti here. Maybe not. I don't really see the point of him passing. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Okay, so we're gonna find out now if he has a culling strike. He does not. If all he does is play three trappers and ten cards, we probably lose. Trapper's kind of a messed up card. Um, if we just hmm, if we just pass, we'll be on ruination mana next turn. Let's play this. That still gives us Ruination Mana and encourages him to play into us. What did we catch? Yep. Um... We're not going to Rumination this turn. We're just going to build a board. Um, he's burning a lot of mana here. 
He's gonna have to develop into us. I think that's fine. We're hoping it's not the uh, the Trifarian Assessor here. Sure. You pay first. Um, this is fine. If we play something else, we, we can throw away. Let's waste a turn with this. How does this determine strongest? Would it kill the 5 2 or just hit the other 5 5? Highest power with ties broken by highest health and then highest cost. So now. Uh, he's really playing around Ruination pretty damn well. Gotta go with the flow. So this is the third one. Wow. This guy is playing so carefully. It's disappointing. I really need an opening. Playing around a Rex successfully stops our, ru our uh, Chronicler of Ruin. Um, we'll do this. Yeah, we want to draw. Let's do this. Now we still have Vengeance mana up. So A lot of calling strikes. So our option here is to Vengeance or play Chronicler or Salvage. I think playing Chronicler is fine. We'll still have Vengeance up. If he has another Ash, that's unfortunate, but... Okay, not that big a deal. We can also just take this in Ruination. It's not like I'm particularly worried about damage reach here. I mean, normally this deck doesn't have a lot of direct damage. I pull the strings. You really want him to play into us, but he's playing so carefully. Um, 
Yeah. He's gonna pass with nine with nine up. Gonna pass with nine up. Um well. Hmm. I didn't expect most opponents to be this good at this level. Oh, he's playing around everything. It is me! Sure. And then the decimates kill me. Shit. Yep, good game. That's no way to treat your queen. He just never never gave us any vulnerabilities, man. We played it as tight as we could. Never gave us an opportunity to really turn the corner. Never overcommitted. I don't think he ever had more than three creatures on the field. Made all of our uh, all of our ruinations really awkward. Which is why I'm I'm just not sure about having ruination in this main deck if it's that easy to play around. You already have pack your bags as your primary uh, your primary board wipe condition, which you you can get to on average around the same time you'd be wanting to cast ruination. I think we should shave one of those. For uh, maybe a rice or uh, probably just the, or rasa. I like rasa. I think we're gonna put put that back in there. Um, gosh, I don't know what you do in this matchup. Wait for them to cast feel the rush and eat shit. I assume it's the primary plan. don't have a lot of tools, I feel like, to interact with their uh, ramp plan. Like, we're not killing their burning stones most of the time. We could use a bite. Nice. We would have got some critters there. Apply a little more pressure. No targets. Guess we're just salvaging. Are we salvaging? So this is the trundle turn. You won't suffer long. Probably just casting our plunder dude. Is this in the field of rush deck now? 
I don't know what happened with Trapper, but uh, apparently someone talked about Trapper on a stream, or someone won a tournament with Trapper, because it's seeing a lot more play now, isn't it? Well, that is not good for me. There's plenty of Kenneth there. We don't like that at all. If they're out there, I'll spot them. We just want to get this starting to duplicate as fast as possible. So we have the ability to kill Trundle. Alpha Wild Claw. Not what I expected. So this is the Alpha Wild Claw build instead of the Hearth Guard build. Um, he's not a Rumination Mana yet, so we could develop. We could get Avalanche if we develop. Right, we probably just swing. Sure, sure. Ready the torches. Uh. Alert the villains. Okay. Mm. Weird. I very much don't know what this is. Okay, I guess we'll draw a card. Never lost a fair game. We'll play one. And get Avalanche can be sad. Avalanche or Whale, both basically mangle us now. Not a heck of a lot I can do about it. I smell a fight. Um, that's pretty bad too. Can't really vengeance it. Huh. Damn. could play Pool Shark. I guess this by itself would level Twisted Fate, right? I wonder if that'll be good enough. Let's find out. Not hitting our Gohards is uh, not giving us good chances at winning this one. Now this game's heating up. Very, very vulnerable here. This is going to just delete. Shit. So 
LAPD. Yeah, and this card's just gonna explode. Now, where was I? <sighs> Oh boy, this does not look good. I don't know if that ruination would have helped. We really needed to go hard so that we could finish Trindamir and then be able to vengeance him. The trap is set. But we've drawn a million cards and he hasn't shown up, so pretty fucked, I think. <laughs> Twenty-five cards we've only seen one. Yeah, not not a lot we can do about stuff like this, folks. Game just wants us to lose. What are you gonna do? Right. We'll try one more, see if we see can go two coming. two. Nothing we can do to fix that one. The horn of failure. She plays for me. Some can say that was a bad draw. Felt like a bad draw. Hey, Runeclaw is is a pretty good magic player. I've run into them playing uh, Mythic Magic before. Cool that they're uh, over in this game. So I haven't seen this deck played in action because I haven't been playing for a bit, but I'm assuming we want lower to the ground options than this. This seems like it's actually a really tough matchup because how do we get rid of Ezreal reliably? Like anything we, we're going to point Crumble at, they're going to have removal for. This seems like a really bad matchup. Oh, we were going to remove a Ruination for a... Uh, Rasa, and we did not. A duh. Okay, okay. I know what lurks in the shadows. Not a lot that punishes Elise on two. So Not a lot, but there are some things. Okay, we drew another creature. Good times. I could have waited there, but there's a chance they could have just passed. I guess that would have been fine, actually. I wanted to try to be mana efficient.
That's unfortunate. Could be Ezreal. Lots of some treasures, huh? and uh, Jagged next turn. We're now at the point that uh, one more go hard gives us pack your bags. Get our free damage and free spider. Man, Elise has not had a good day. But some treasures, huh? Like a fish in water. <laughs> well, that's kind of nice. Glimpse on this. No. Mm, sure. Ezreal is definitely leveled. So I'll just play the Doom Beast. It's our free card. That seems pretty desperate. As real played here is definitely a crumble from us. We've got seven on the board. Whoa! 
Tri-Beam and Probulator. Okay. Um. That's bizarre as hell. Okay. Scratched. Abandoned ship. We do need to find some damage. That's not going to do it. But, uh, we've got options. But only master can secure me tail. It's time to die. Champ Wamp. Possible, we'd really like to be able to chronicle this. They don't know what they're up against. Don't blink. Now, because Ezreal is Ezreal, we're going to have to do something about him right away. He would have cast those on us. Oh. Yeah. That sucks. You know, this one of Chronicler has screwed us more than once. This cheeky one of, which I do not think is worth playing. A lot of suboptimal things about this deck design. to survive. It's Draven time. Um Huh. I've whipped up something special. You tax the barrel with Chronicler and make another barrel? I think. Hope he doesn't have Ezreal? How about we hope he doesn't have Ezreal? So disappointing. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. <sighs> Probably just gonna get Mystic shotted. If we can get them to five, they're dead to another pack your bags. We should have a fair amount left in our deck.
They could just double decimate me here, right? They're sitting on a lot of damage in hand. We don't have a lot of cards left. Uh, yeah, that's probably good for me. Well, now we've just got it. Try to get the two in. Oh, did they disconnect? Did they have king? Oh, okay. I'll take that. So we went 2 2, a pretty typical result so far on the show. I think there are some minor adjustments I would make. Um, to Swim's deck. I think I would trim one of these Ruinations for Arasa. So when someone is very smart, like our uh, our Noxious Feliord opponent was, they can't play around us forever. We have something that can get them when they're in between having a full board state and just having a couple big crushy creatures. And um, I'm not sure how I feel about two crumbles. Not sure how I feel about two crumbles. And the one-off Chronicler. I found this really irritating. It's just, it's too cheeky. I don't like it. We could replace the Chronicler with like a Black Spear. I don't hate a Black Spear. Or a petty officer, which I also like. It's a little, a little something you have against the, um, the fearsome deck, petty officer. And you're usually getting something with two toughness most of the time, so it's not strictly, strictly awful in a ping-heavy meta. Yeah, let's try a singleton black spear. All right. So this has been Gravity Groove here for Not Safe for Working with Terra. If you've enjoyed the show today, if you thought that the play was thoughtful and stimulating and that my hair is awesome, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I would love if you would tell a couple people that you dig this and that there is this person who does these card game things and also kind of rocks. And uh, maybe those people will also like the show. Uh, I would love for you to comment. And the comment I need for you to give me today is I need to know the make and model of car you drive. Don't don't ask why. It's not it's not personal, okay? It's not like I asked you uh, your mother's favorite song or something. Just you know, come on, give me something here. I expect to see that in the comments below. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. I know your time is valuable. Thanks for spending a little bit of it with me, and I hope to see you next time. Boom. Thanks for hanging out.